In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Amen. In tribulatari Dei. Judicami Deo, se de cena causa me, in legenda non sancta, bo ni nico dello sero e me. Quiritus Deus fortitudo me, in parameri quodisti quattristi si cedutum. Amici lucim tuum e veritatem tuum, ipsa medi duxerante, daduxerante, motum sancta tuum in tabernacula tua. Quan fite virti vinci tra Deus, Deus meus, quare tristis as anima mea, quare cantura vas me. Gloria Patri, Filio Spiritu e Santo. In tre volontari Dei, Auditorium Nostrum in Nomine Domini. Confidi Dei, Venutenti, Beata Maria, Semper Vergine, Beata Michele, Arcangelo, Beata Ioni, Baptiste, Santa Zabasta, Spetra e Paolo. Omnibus Santa Zavobis, Fratres, Quia Pecavi Nimis, Cogitazione, Verbo Opere. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Idio Pecar, Beata Maria, Semper Vergine, Beata Michele, Macangelo, Beata Mino, Baptista. Santa Zabasta, Spetra e Paolo, Omnibus Santa Zavobis, Fratres, Orari, Pomea, Domino Dei Nostrum. Amen. Miseriata vestri, mi potenseus ed emissis peccatis vestris, per il God vos ed vitam eternum. Indulgentium absolutia nomen de remissione peccatorum nostrorum, giubi nomis omnipotenza e misericordia dominus. Deus tu conversus vivificabis nos, ostendi nobis domini misericordiam tuam, domini exagerationem meam, dominus vobiscum, oremus. Esto mi chi in Deum protectorum et in locum refugii, iut salvum me facies, quoni in firmamento meum et refugii meum estu, et proprio nomen tuum dux, mi chi eris et in nutrias me. In te domine speravi non confundar in eternum, in justitia tua libera me et eripe me. Gloria Patri, Filio, Spiritu e Santo, sicur erim e cipi nucus in peret in secola, secolorum, amen. Esto mi chi in Deum protectorum et in locum refugii, iut salvum me facies, quoni in firmamento meum et refugii meum estu, e propter nomen tuum dux mici eris et in nutrias me. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Dominus Fobiscum. Oremus, preces nostras quesimus domini il commentare exadi atque peccatorum vinculis absolutus ab omni nos adversitati custodi. Per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum fidium tuum qui decum vivere trenat in unitati spiritu santi Deus per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio pisale beati pali aposti al Corinthios. Fratres, sin linguis hominum loquar et angelorum caritatem atem non habeam factus sum velot eis sonans aut cimblum tiniens. Et si habuero profetiam, et noverem misteria omnia, et omnem scientiam, et si habuero omnem fidem ite ut montes transferam, caritatem atenam habuero nihil sum. Et si distribuero in cibos paparam omnes facultates meas, et si tradidere corpus meam, ite ut tardeim caritatem atenam habuero nihil mici prodest, caritas passiens es benignes, caritas non emulator, non agi peperam, non inflator, non es ambitiosa, non querit quae sua sunt, non irritator, non cogitat malam, non garret super iniquitate, con garret atem veritati, omnia sufert, omnia credit, omnia sperat, omnia sustinet. Caritas nunquam excidit sive profetia evacua abuntur, sive lingue cessabunt, sive scientia destruetur, ex parte enem conoscimus, ed ex parte profetamus, cum atem venerit quod perfectum est, evacua abitur quod es parte est. Eva coabitur quod ex parte eas, cum essem parvulus locurbare ut parvulus sapiebam ut parvulus cogitabam ut parvulus. Quando avatem factus sum vire eva coavi qui erat parvuli, videmus nunc per speculum in enigmitate tunc atem facie er faciem. 
Nun coniosco ex parte tunc atem coniosquam, sicut et cognitus sum, nunc atem manan fides spes caritas tria heic, maior atem orum es caritas. Deus qui facis merabilia solus, notum fecisti in genibus virtutum tuam, liberasti in brachio tuo populum tuum, filius Israel et Iosef. Jubilate Deo omnis terra, servite Domino Letitia, Intrate in conspecto eos, in exaltatione, citote iconem, quod Dominus ipse es Deus, ipse feci nos et non ipse nos, nos atum populo Zeus, et ovis pasque eus. Dominus Fobiscum, Sequentia Santi Evangelii Secundum Lucam. In illo tempore assum siti Jesus duo decim, et ae didis ecce, ascendimus Jerusalemam, et consumabuntur omnia que scripta sunt per profetas de filio hominis. Tradetur enem gentibus, et illudetur flagellabitur, et conspuetur, et postcom flagellabarin, occident eum, et tertia die resurget. Et ipsi nico horam intellexerunt, et erat verbum istut absconditum abeis, et non intelligeban quae digebantur. Factum est atem cum propunquare Jericho cecus quidam sede pat secus viam mendicans. Et cum aderat turbam preteriuntum, interrogabant quid hoc eset, dixerant atem ei, quod Iesus Nazarenus transirat, et clamavi dicens Iesu fili David miserari mei, et qui praeiben et crepabant eum utacerat. Ipsi verum motu magis clamabat, sfili David, miserere mei. Sans atem Iesus iusit ilam aduciat se, et cum approfum quasset interrogavit ilum, dicens quid tibi vis faciam, ad ili dixit domini ut vidiam. Et Iesus dixit ili, respice fides tua te salvum fecit, et confestum vidit, et sequebatur ilum, magnificans Deum, et omnis plebs ut vidit, dedit laram Deum. If you have faith even to remove mountains, but have not charity, it profits you nothing. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. This is a very familiar time of year, leading up to the season of Lent. And just before the season of Lent, our mind is filled with the different kinds of resolutions we might make during this season, during these, these 40 days. To one extent, we might feel forced into making a resolution. It's what we do every year, and as Catholics, we have to do that. But what I would like to look at today is not so much what resolutions to make, but rather to look at why we make resolutions. Why is it important this time to come up with some kind of good resolutions to make a good Lent? One of the reasons is because we live in a world that's constantly changing. Even us in our own personal lives, we're different from one year to the next. We're older, hopefully more experienced. We have undergone many different changes throughout the past year. And coupled with that, we also have the drastic changes which we've undergone in this past year. All in all, it's very different, and we are very different people than we were one year ago. And the question is, how have we adapted to these changes? 
Have we, as St. Paul said, used them so they all work together unto the good? Or have they stopped us from progressing in the spiritual life? I like to think of it as as a sailboat in the wind. And even if the wind isn't blowing in the, in the proper direction, we're still using that wind to tack and to go in that right direction. So change, how have we adapted to this change? Another reason is the very opposite of change. It's monotony. Most of us, especially uh, perhaps in recent times, because um, we've all been forced to live in the same environs with the same people doing the same job, day in, day out. We live a life of routine, doing the same things over and over each day. And we live in a world that wants change, that lives almost for change. And Fulton Sheen has something very interesting to say about this. He says that the world wants constant change because they don't have a goal. They don't know where they're going. And so they're always trying to find something new to go towards. <clears throat> but he says the Christian must find a certain kind of thrill in the monotony, in the day-to-day -day things. And that is precisely because he does have a fixed goal. And each day, he can use it as an opportunity to grow closer to our Lord Jesus Christ, to become another Christ. Because we can never say that we've, we've fully reached that point. There's always more for us to attain. And perhaps the ultimate, the reason why we make resolutions is not for any, not for any reason on, on our part, but because it should be, it must be, because of love. Um, this is one problem that we often have with, with Lent. We go into Lent thinking that we'll do this, we'll lose weight, we'll become more fit, and we will in a certain way perfect ourselves. But this is completely missing the point. The purpose of a resolution during Lent is to grow closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. And the best way of doing that is by getting to know our Lord Jesus Christ better. By knowing who he is and what he does and how he thinks of us. In a very personal way, not just a theoretical way, not just a theological way, but what sort of relationship Christ has with us individually. And during the season of Lent, we have a great opportunity of doing this by the, the very rich liturgy which Holy Mother of the Church presents to us. Each day she gives us a new reading, a new gospel. And she invites us to read this, to meditate on it, and to apply it to ourselves. What is God trying to tell us here, now, in 2020, during this Lent? And what do, we, what do we understand, what do we see, what do we find in our Lord Jesus Christ? What new element of him do we find? We must be drawn to our Lord Jesus Christ by getting to know him better. So during this Lent, <clears throat> I would like to invite you to make some good resolutions. Make some good, good resolutions because we need this. We live, as I say, in a world of, of constant change, but yet at the same time, this monotony of everyday life. And we need to look at it, we need to step back and see how things have been going and make a resolution 
which, which suits us and which helps us most during this time. And as I say, the, the most important resolution must be that resolution that brings us closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. And if we could during this Lent, in whatever small way, each day, come to know and to love our Lord Jesus Christ a little bit better than the day before, it would be a good Lent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrum omnipotentum factorum cedi et terre, visibilium omnium et visibilium, et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum filium Dei unigenitum, et ex Patre nata mate omnia saecula. Deum de Deo lumine lumine Deum verum de Deo vero, genitum non factum custom satia non patri perequem omnia facta sunt. Qui propter nos homines et propter nostrum salutem descendi de celis. Et incarnatus est, de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Vergine, et homo factus est. Crucifixus et siempre nobis supansio Pilato pastus et sepultus est. Et resurrexi tertia die sicurum subtoras, et ascendit in celum sede de externum patris. Et iterum ventoros est cum gloria iudicare vivos in mortuos, cui us reini non erit finis. Et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantem, qui es patri filio quae procedit. Qui cum patri filio simularator et glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas. Et unam sanctum catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, Confiteur in baptism and remission of peccatorum, et expecto resurrection of mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Oremus. Benedictus est Domini doce mei justificationes tuas, in labiis meis pronunciavi omnia judicia oris tui. Orate fratres. Ich 
Romia secula seculorum. Dominus vobiscum, sursum gorda. Gratis agamus Domine Dei nostro. Veredin vidi sum esse cum es altare nos tibi semper, et ubique gratias adere Domine Sancte Patrum di potenza de Deus. <coughs> Qui cum unigene tuo Fidio tuo Spiritu Santo, unus es Deus, unus es Dominus. Non in unius singularitate personae, sed in unius trinitate substantiae. Con in unitu e gloria revelante de credimus octi, Filio tuo, octi Spiritus Santo, sine deferentia discretione sentimus. Ut in confessione veris sempiterne equae deitati, sed in personis proprietas, et in essentia unitas, et in maestate, maestate adoratere qualitas. Quam narad angeli equa rec angeli cherubim quoque ex serafim qui non cessan clamare cotidie una voce dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Abad, Panis Vincitator, Glorita, Hosanna, and Excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna, and Excelsis.
nobis quoque peccatoribus. Peramnia secula seculorum oremus. Prescipis altaribus moni di divinis reducine formati in musicere. Pater nostre, qui es in cedi santificetur nomen tuum, ad venin renem tuum fia voluntas tua sicur in cedo ed in terra. Panam nostrum quotidianum de nobis odie, ad dimidi nobis ed evita nostra sicur in nostra mitibus debitoribus nostris, ed ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Anius secutoli spiegate muni miserare novis. Anius secutoli spiegate muni miserare novis. Anius secutoli spiegate muni dona nobis pacem. Domine non sembri in estro. Domine non sembri in estro. Thank you. 
Domine nocem dini sudin dress of deck the meum, sed on dig verabo et sena vitra anima mea.
Manukavred, et saturati sunimis et desideri maiorums atulite eis dominus, non sunt fredati a desiderio suo. Dominus Fobiscum. Oremus, quesimus on evidenceo sui qui celestiali mente percepimus per hec contra omni adversimoni amore. Per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tuum, qui tecum vivida renat in unitati spiritu santi Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Dominus Fobiscum, Ite missa est. Benedica vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Fidius et Spiritus Sanctus, Dominus Fobiscum, Initium Sancti Evangelii, Secundum Ioannum, In principio era verbum, 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 omni per ipso factus unus, in ipso factum est, nico quod factum est, in ipso vita, era vita, era lux hominum, ed lux intenum resolution, ed in rem non comprenderot. Fuit homo misus adeo, cui nomen ordi vanes. Ic venit in testimonium, in testimonium, per hiper de lumine, et omnes credit in verilum. Non erdi de lux, et testimonium, per hiper de lumine. Era lux vera quae lumine, et omnem hominem venientem in hoc mundum. In mudu erat, mudus per ipso factus est, in mudus eim non cuniovit. In propri veredit sui eum non inciperant. Quod quod atem perciperant eum dite eis postata vidius ei fieri, his qui credunt in nomine eus qui non ex sanguinibus equais fondari carnis nequais fondari viris et ex deo natis sunt. Et verbum cata factum est et habit habit in nobis vidimus gloria in meus gloria in quasi uni genitea patri plenum gratiae et veritatis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, but many children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thou most gracious, advocate thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile shall unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, a refuge in our strength, look down with favor upon the people who cry to thee. And through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, O blessed Joseph, spouse of the holy apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we perform to thee for the conversion of sinners and for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother of the Church through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of conflict, be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray, and to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, for the power of God, thrust Satan down to hell and with him all the evil spirits, one throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus, most sacred heart of Jesus. Most 